Good morning, it's Saturday the 22nd of August and it's time for another weekend vlog. The vlog on the tide is all mine, all mine. The vlog on the tide is all mine. The vlog on the tide is all mine, all mine. The vlog on the tide is all mine. Today we're going off to Carlisle. Um, we're going to visit the castle and possibly some other bits of Carlisle. Um, that's our activity for today. But before we go, Caroline needs to take her tablets and do her hair because she looks in absolute state. But. <laughs> Um, we had a few deliveries through the week, so let's have a quick look at those. So the shoes that I couldn't get in the shop last week, they've come. No! Get off the table! Caroline doesn't like shoes on the table, and this is what they look like. It's bad, look. And they're really comfortable. So my shoes came. What else has come, Caroline? Um, my, my masks. I had another mystery box delivered. Um, this was from the Applause store, the Laughing store, Applause store. It was £20 for five mystery geeky t-shirts and this, this is what came. So this is a Marvel and it's Black Panther, Deadpool, Rick and Morty, but I'm not keen on the quality of the t-shirt on this one. Overwatch, which is a game apparently, a game of some kind. And Venom. So overall, for 20 quid, that's all right really. Um, I'd spend more than that on those t-shirts in, in like Primark and stuff. So, and the quality other than um, the Rick and Morty one is, is good quality. Caroline also had her Shop Disney masks delivered. Size small. And these are the ones she got. Can to come and try them on, pet? These are all a size small. From Shop Disney. They fit you quite well, don't they? Yeah, it's just tight around the ears. It's, but I've got the I've got the actual extenders. Extenders. Yeah. So that's Mickey. What's the next one? Also Mickey. You know, I'm trying to put them on on the spot when people are asking. When you're, <laughs> when you're trying to get the round at ears. I'm not also Mickey. Just them. I'm not good at putting them on. Mini? And Mickey. Or Mini. Mini even. Mini. Black and white Mickey. Mini. Mini. Can't get them right. Are you pleased Mini. with those masks? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You're going to take one today? Yes, I probably wear one today. Okay. Uh, do you think this one will be better because of the blues? Yes. Don't hold them next to your boobs though. Right, let's uh, let's quickly grab some breakfast and then head over to Carlisle. Yes, let's. And just before we were going to go out, um, the postman delivered the first lot of Bath and Body Works stuff that I've ordered. So sunshine and lemons, cherry vanilla float and some anti -wax. So I can't wait to try these. There's some more coming as well, so I'll probably show them in next week's um, weekend vlog. Anyone fancy some McVitie's biscuits? Or Cars crackers? We have made it inside the castle and if you are disabled and have a blue badge you can come through that gap there and park over there. Everybody else has to park in a public car park. But this is the castle from immediately inside the courtyard bit. That's the military museum which we'll have a look at in a bit. It's very quiet. That's good. Yeah, the rain stays off well. Yes. Sanitizers provided but we have lots of our own. Oh. Well, food for dogs, or water for dogs, I should say. Ooh, that's tall. Oh, look, Sean, there's the disabled toilet for future reference. It's <laughs> the delicious though. Remnants of a mold? I don't know. Ooh, I can't get you in. You could probably go in that bit though. <laughs> Which way can we go? I'm going to look in the stall first. Look up. Oh. What kind of gun is that? 
a pistol, musket, maybe or something. I don't know. I'm looking. You should tell you on there. Oh, what are these? So Carlisle is small in size, but great in loyalty. What's this building? Ooh, oh, what's this? What's this? That's what I know. Is this like a cannonball or something? It possibly is a cannonball. It's a massive ball. What's that say there? You Open can't touch it. The the out of service. And they're little, they're little, little shot cannonball, little cannonballs. Have a look inside the keep. Caroline can't actually come in here because there's too many steps, but let's have a look. It's a few floors. It smells old. This is or was the Great Hall. Nice fireplace there. Let's have a look out the window. Ooh, trapdoor. I wonder what's in here. Looks like a cell. Ooh. Spooky. Have a wander on at the top of the wall. See what we can see. Well, isn't that good? I have made it up to the top of the castle wall, so we're further up the keep. There's the top of the gatehouse, and out there is Carlisle. Let's have a wander around. See what we can see. I think that would have been the moat. And maybe the moat there as well. Like double moat, maybe? Let's have a look around this way. Ooh, there's some big guns. I've found my way back downstairs and I'm standing in now in Queen Mary's Tower, which was the original gatehouse, hence that double moat. And this is where it would have been. The original gatehouse up to the keep there. I've come out of the castle and now I'm trying to go down these really steep steps that are wet. What's down here? Is this the dungeon? Oh. No, actually it's just... All ah, right, because that's the mode out there, so you would have sentries, I guess, and archers, maybe. And then I come back up the other step. All right, okay, so it's just like a t uh, tower, post, defense area thing. Wow, these st stairs are steep. Hi. Hi. On the cobbles. So we're going to go into the military museum now and possibly the cafe because we're both bone dry. I think the army cadets are in here as well. Oh look they brought out the big guns for Sean. Ooh bang bang. <laughs> Why would you climb on the gun? Do you think this vlog's going to tank, Caroline? Boom. It's not a tank though, is it? Yeah, it's, there's something there as well. We've picked up a little snack before we go in the museum. Crisps for Caroline, as always. Woo! The lid's gone. You've lost your lid. You've lost your top. You've blew your top. to be lid. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee. Yeah. Let's have a look around the museum. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. that's an old bike. 
We've got the big guns again, Sean. All of them, all of them up there. Yeah. That looks cool. Yeah. What is this? This is the musket gun. Summertime. Don't forget the thumbs and the fingers. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty cool up there. That's what I was saying, the bike. Oh, I thought you mean in the bike up there. No. Little drummer boy. During the years ahead, things didn't much improve. In 1821, the 55th left for South Africa before being posted to India, then on to China. After the war in China, and a staggering 23 years of There's from the Fontenot era of the wars. This is from the Crimean War, from the conflict in Crimea. And this is actually Indian from when the troops went to India, from the frontiers of the empire. When we enslaved the Indians. Yep. This museum's really well done for COVID. It's very well done. You've it's got to wear a mask, they're making sure. Yeah, they've got signs everywhere saying stay two meters, six foot. You can so. only go in a little zone, only yeah. one household. So if you look at it this way, it's one length of me plus an extra foot. Yeah, <laughs> and sanitizer and stuff, so it's, yeah. yeah, it's quite well distanced. And you've got, it's blocked off, so you can't go in between. You can't do so like just, interactive stuff and things. So it's just to do like a one-way system, so you don't get yeah. crisscrossed with people. Let's get back to the museum. Yeah. Triggered partly by the appalling problem of equipment supply and leadership that Crimea had brought to light. All of this here. Yeah is the equipment and clothing and guns that they used in the Boer War. There's the drums. Sean, I'd wear that jacket now. This one? Oh, I had a jacket like that. Cool. So are these photos behind you. You can see all the army lined up in the castle behind you. Mm -hmm. Let me turn you around so you can see. Yeah. Wee! Which became their new regimental corps. In July 1881. Carlisle Castle this still has active military in it. It does, yeah. It's got the cadets. It's got the cadets and some of the military as well. Yep, so some of the buildings in here are still used, the, the more modern ones, some of them aren't because they're filled with asbestos. But Which is not surprising because they were built many, many years ago when they used yeah. asbestos. In the outer ward, this is the only one we can come in. Did you know? Fourth of August is probably the most fateful day in the history of the world war world. Yeah, so let's head into the first world war. I'm on a map. Oh, God, I'm only going to show up there when I see him. Someone on a train. <laughs> and here's some weaponry. Oh, that's scary. This must be a gas mask, right? Yeah. Or a ghost mask, I don't know. Sean, <laughs> I've kind of got a um, Harry Potter vibe. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Well, ho the Hogwarts thing. Express is yeah. themed on, on that kind of time scale. Uh, like, um, the First World War. Come along, boys. Let's walk through the trench. First World War trenches. This is what they may have looked like. You alright, mate? Yeah. Barbed wire. More gas masks. These are the German army weapons. It's got a massive helmet. These are the German army. Oh, looks scary. They're big bullets. We are between the wars now, so things got a little bit more shiny, Caroline. Yeah, but this also shows you the wars in like a... On All the, the various yeah. wars that this... China, India... That the armies from Carlisle have, have been in. Yeah. And this guy looks like your Uncle Billy. He looks a bit like my Uncle Billy. Not yeah. <laughs> for man's family. <laughs> We're now moving on to the Second World War. Yeah. So from Dunkirk to D-Day. From Dunkirk to D-Day. And the guns are getting smaller. 
Yeah. Rocket launcher. Are these? I don't know. Like bottle, like bottle, bottle holders? What number is it? 17. Pair of sauce bottles found in an abandoned German officer's mess. A sauce bottle. Wow. This is a guy getting ready to mow somebody down. Normally they'd have interactive exhibits but they're all closed. This is a guy in a truck thing. We've moved on to the Far East War now. And it's a lot of machetes and really sharp yeah. knives. Light and looser clothing as well. Yeah. Lots of knives. The guns are getting bigger again. This is the third Disney or Universal thing I've seen today. So I've seen a, a cord for Wind in the Willows. It's Pluto. And now we've got Pluto. And before was this was what they wore in Northern Ireland in the Troubles. Watch out, you. It says Lucky Pluto mascot carried in his weapon by colour sergeant Dave the dog, Israel, while serving in Northern Ireland. Well, he likes Disney. He does. And we're now getting up to the modern day. We have finished with Carlisle Castle, which actually wasn't, it's a nice little place and it's great finding out about history. It is. When now, the little museum's good. Yeah, the little museum was very good. And the, a lot of references, like I was saying before, to Disney or Superman or... Um, Just what people, what all the soldiers enjoyed. Yeah, and there was a Wind in the Willows reference on a table, yeah. which made us think of Mr. Tall's Wild Ride. But it's now ride. time to head out and do something else, but we need to wait for all of these people to move out of our way so we can drive out. Yep. We are on our way to... Somewhere. Somewhere. even though it's raining. It is the Lake District, that's what happens here. <laughs> I have been to the Lake District when it's been hot days plenty of times. I brought Sean to Ulls Water. Um, we haven't got out yet because it's raining, as you can see. But it's still very pretty. Isn't it, Sean? Yes. What is it about the road? But these shop? roads are narrow and steep. They are and very. Got brick walls that I'm very close to. Uh huh. But does this car do it justice? The car's too wide for this. Too road. wide. <laughs> if only we could own houses like these, Sean. In on the lake. I've eaten here before. That's a lot of driving today and yesterday. Um, I am feeling so tired that I'm feeling a little bit dizzy with tiredness. I'm, that, I'm feeling that tired. Do you not think that's off your ears? No. Dizziness. No, it's no, tiredness. And also the, the onions that I'm frying off are really, really strong. <laughs> Just frying some onions. Come with me. Come with me. Chopper man, Dave's chopping. I'm just frying off some onions and then we're just having burgers and onions and cheese and an egg. 
Well, that dinner was lovely. I ended, we ended up having like a cheeseburger with garlicky, cheesy, eggy onions. Um, bit of a strange meal, but it was it was very very nice. I'm now ready for Saturday night discussions. I am dog tired though, so I'll try and be as enthusiastic as I can. I've also changed my T-shirt because why not? But anyway, let's get into the Saturday night discussions. Good morning. It's Sunday now, and. That was discussions last night. Caroline and I have been struggling to get up a little bit this morning. We've got no re nothing planned or anything to do today, so we didn't see a reason to get out of bed. So it's half ten now. Um, however, we have been awake for a couple of hours and we've been planning stuff for the next few weeks. So we've been booking some things that we're going to do over the next few weekends. So you'll see all that kind of stuff coming up in weekend vlogs. We're going to go to um, Vindolanda and the museum. Um, and there's like a Roman parade thing going on there in a few weeks' time. So we're going to do that. Um, we're going to go to Kirkley Hall Zoo, um, which is just a small local zoo. So we'll we'll show you that. That's in that's going to be in next week's vlog. Um, and just a few other little things in, in different places. We've also I've also booked a few meals at, at some nice restaurants, you know, to support all the local businesses. So we're going to go out and do do those things as well. Um, but the news you've all been waiting for, the diet update after four weeks, I have lost one stone. And a quarter of a pound. So Dave minutes. lost eleven and a quarter pounds. So well done us. Woo! Very similar. Um, we're not stopping the diet now though, um, but we're not going to do it as strict. So we're going to continue on trying to lose some more weight, build up the exercise, um, keep on the same kind of meals that we've been doing, but we're going to reintroduce some of the things that we cut out, like the odd bit of potato or rice. Um, and today we're going to do shortly um, try some snacks that we've had delivered from an online store um, that we've ordered, like some um, some more American tasting snacks. So we're gonna try those and show you those shortly, um, which I've been saving as like a little treat, along with some Australian chocolate. I've been saving those as a little treat for the end of the official diet. But like I said, we're gonna continue and try and lose some more weight. I wanna lose another stone. You about the same, Dave? No, I'm making three quarter posts. I wanna get done with the 12 stone. So Dave, so Dave wants to lose um, another nine, another nine pounds or so to get down to twelve stone. Um, he'll disappear if he loses too much more. So that's the update, um, and we'll come back to you um, when something more interesting is happening. Oh. Dinner's getting dished out, Dave. But Caroline wants fancy stuff that we don't have in the house, so I've got to go to the shop and get um, I beans. I don't think I said the beans is fancy. Beans are fancy to me, pet. Got to get them to make your spicy cheesy bean pasta. Good afternoon. Um, Sean has been to the shops, got me some beans, and he's made me a spicy bean pasta. Well, a spicy cheesy bean pasta. I've not tasted it yet because last time he didn't make it spicy enough, so he's went out of his way to make it extra spicy. It's nice. It's a little bit spicier than last time. After I've had my lunch, we're going to get ready, do some sit downs, and then we're going to go, I think, to B&Q, pick up some paint charts, and to look at the price of um, the stuff you put in the pebbles, which I can't remember. You'll have to forgive us, my brain again is not playing nice beat today. I've been calling cod and parsley, pod and parsley. I've been leaving things on, which could cause accidents and fires. <laughs> Loads of typos as usual. Um, so, yeah, it's one of those days. And here's some freshly made garlic ciabatta fingers for you as well. Thank you. They're very hot. Thank you. Is it spicy enough for you? I would just say... You can nod. Just nod. The vlog, I've already told them. It's spicier than last time. But it, it, it wasn't... It doesn't come across as spicy, like really spicy straight away. But every after about a minute or so, it, you get a tingle in the back of your throat. Mm -hmm. But it's not one of those ones where you eat it and it's on your tongue and you go... But do you ah. like it? But it's nice. As did long you, as you like did it. Did you put something Indian in, in this? Um, I just used a mix of spicy chilli curry spices. 
I can taste it's curry. Well, lunch was lovely, um, but we're going to try some American food now. So Dave, come on over and we'll try some American snacks. So let's try some American goodies. First up is Fanta Wild Cherry. Oh, thank you. Let's give it a try here. I can't stand cherry drinks. That's your cup then, Dave. You're not trying some. I'll do it for you, but I really terribly hate cherry drinks. Yeah. You know this. Just the smell of it once it's all. Yes, that's lovely. Oh, yes, yeah, all the sugary goodness after that diet. You're still going to continue looking after yourself, getting more weight off. Yeah. What's your thought? It's a very cherry bee. Cherry bee. Very fizzy. Very fizzy. Too fizzy. Too fizzy. Too fizzy. Next up, Mountain Dew Baja Blast, which is. I already know this is delicious. We've had this I didn't like the dialogue, I didn't do that. This one's only for me. Dad's never tasted that one before. I don't care, it's only for me. Good. It's delicious. How rude. It is delicious. How rude. We're going to start with sweet stuff. Sweet stuff, Dad? Pass it. Chocolate moon pie. I'm going to before you do it, look. Hi, please. <laughs> It looks like a double wagon, triple wagon wheel. That is pretty much what it is. It's a soft wagon wheel. Now I want a packet of wagon wheels. It's just cakey wagon wheel. Isn't it? Very soft. It's cakey cake. It's, cake like it's a, a cake. double decker as well. Next Dave. <laughs> it's a cake. Oh, you know what? I've just got pink doors on and now it's got chocolate over. Sour Patch Kids. Flavours, two in one, heads. It's a cake like a cake, it's a cakey shoe cake. <laughs> no, I can't have that. Thank you. I don't mm. think I can, can I? Really, ooh, sour. Sour and fruity. Mm. Doesn't mention gelatine in them. Kind of. I'm pretty sure they're okay, mate. The sweet comes after the sour on these. What should I go for when I don't like pineapple? Just I'm, pick one. I'm going for the pink lemonade and blue raspberry. That's more my flavour. Is that the right one? Love sour patch kids. All, all kinds of sour. Apart from the watermelon ones. But all kinds of sour patch kids. I love sour. Anything sour. Mm. But, but the worst thing you can do is have sour after you've just cleaned your teeth. And talking about minty freshness, Kit Kat Duo's dark and mint chocolate. See, I give you a segue. <laughs> I could fancy the one on the segue at some point. We'll do it. Yeah. Let's just don't knock people over. Can't promise I wouldn't knock people over. I'm not getting a stick each. <laughs> Very nice. I'd have them again. Minty. It'd be better in the fridge. Nice. One more sweet thing to go, which we'll, we'll, we'll have for breakfast there. Pop tarts. We've got some pop tarts. I've never. You need to eat them. Have I, Put in some. Have I ever had a pop tart before? I don't know. Yeah, you need to put them in the toaster. Hot frosted fudge sundae. Yes, you can warm them up, but you can also eat them cold. I used to find pop tarts too far too sweet. Mum got them a couple of times when we were younger and then she just stopped getting them so she said, oh, too bad. And Dad didn't like them anyway, they were too sweet. That's a good look, mm. You know, if he's making sure he gets enough, isn't he? Look at that big bite. Why have I never had pop tarts before? Ask your mum, I don't know. Spot on. Fallen Cheryl, I blame you for me adding those to the basket. Do you know what it is? That's just a bourbon biscuit base. No, it's cakey. Mmm, <laughs> pop up. Okay. 
savoury. Out of my favourite things. Can I have my water? Flamin' hot crunchy Cheetos. Yeah, quite spicy. You know what we should do next time we go to America? Buy a couple of big bags of them and then blend them into dust and put them in a milk cake. No, we could blend them and put them on the chicken. Yes! That's nice. Excellent idea. They're not that spicy. These are spicy. She just is weird. Next packet, not the red one. Not the red one, pack it, not the red one, Dad picks the red one. <laughs> Hers jalapeno, jalapeno poppers flavour cheese curls. <laughs> These are jalapeno -y. Not spicy, but it's that, that weird jalapeno taste. I mm. really love the flavour of these. They're not particularly spicy, but I love the flavour. You love that flavour in Mexico. That that cheap that mm. cheesy jalapeno jalapeno flavour. Really Words. Good. Words. Yeah, but it's go nice with the We'll just go nice with another packet. <laughs> Lay is strong. Hot pepperoni. These are crunchy. This is quite a And I wouldn't, I wouldn't actually call these hot pepperoni, but like the subtle taste of pepperoni is there. Sure. Why can't I not see? These are from Poland. They're not from Poland. That, that may be where they've been produced, but no. There's no English on it. <laughs> these are Polish lays. American. Are you sure the other ones are from America then? Double check them. You'll be fine on these. I can't find anything because it might have meat in it. There's nothing in English. Need a translation. Just try one, Caroline. No, I'm not eating in case it's meat. Caroline can't try those ones. And the last fine. packet. And these are going to be spicy. Smoking hot ghost pepper flavoured hairs. They're not immediately hot, but I think after a couple they will be. Yeah. Very, very mild flavour. You get a little bit when you swallow them. Why do I get meaty taste from them? Yeah, I do as well. But there's no meat in them? Like not, them. A not a fan of these. Like them. And they're the ones I would have been looking forward to for like spicy things. Oh, the heat's coming now in my throat. <clears throat> That's everything. <coughs> <coughs> the heat's coming. The good way you did. She's not normal. Did, yeah. <laughs> the, um, that's everything we ordered from Land of Munchies. Um, but I also got these from B&M, which is Australian dairy milk. Caroline's already been at this one. When I was Crispy a, cream. When I was feeling a bit iffy the other day, I had some. Top deck. And packed with moral yum. What is moral? How's your face? Oh, that's picket, picket. <laughs> yeah. The camera keeps focusing on Dave's nest. <laughs> we're going for a walk after this. Ooh, crunchy. No, it's not what you think it is. Delicious, that's what it's I'm like a mixture of an arrow and those peppermint things you get for Christmas. 
the little round peppermint or what you get in the dinner table. Because that, yeah, mm. another peppermint. That's what it's a cross between. I like that chocolate. Okay, top deck, let's try next. Do you agree? Cross between the arrow and the gold mints. Which is like dairy milk on the bottom and Cadbury's Dream on the top. I like that. I miss Cadbury's Dream. I wish they still did it. What is Cadbury's Dream? The white chocolate bar on the top of that. I don't eat chocolate as you can tell really, so that's why I don't know what it is. The white chocolate bar that Cadbury used to do and I wish they still did. I wish they did Spiras as well still. They were nice. It's a chocolate though. <laughs> you guys have got a rush going on. Yeah. Sugar rush. I've not had sugar in a little while. Okay, it's time for moral. I never say this, but I think this chocolate needs to go in the fridge because it's a little bit uh, warm. That's why I need my water. It's claggy in the mouth. Malt flavoured cream and caramel in it. Mm. And it's just a poor dairy milk caramel. Awful. It's not awful. You think everything's awful. Mm. Well, I don't really like sweet stuff. That's everything we wanted to try. We're now off to b q so we'll see you there. Trying those goodies was good. My stomach hurts a little bit now and I didn't even eat that many. No, but you've just drank that pop. You, you, you drank it like there was no tomorrow. <laughs> well, it would have been bad tomorrow, so there was no tomorrow. That's why your stomach's hurting. That's it. That's it. It's raining as well, but we need to go to b q and get some paint samples so we can decide what colour paint to put on all of our walls because we want the whole house painted apart from our bedrooms um, we also want the garden tidied up so we're, we're trying to get a fencer out to put some new fences up and then someone to paint them all um, and, and also pull all the weeds up and stuff like that so and it's proving very very difficult to get people around everyone seems to be so busy and so many people don't return the phone calls and give us a call back so yeah any recommend any gardeners or fences anyone it has to be done at a socially distance and we have to probably be out. Well, no, we'll be in the house, they'll be outside doing the fence. Well, then when they do that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go to BQ now anyway, even though it's raining. Mm. Excuse my hair, I seem, I'm thinning and it seems to be getting frizzier and frizzier and it doesn't help when it's raining. So we've arrived at b &Q. there is a queue outside it, but it's going down very very quickly and people are socially distancing which is good. Um, we've got our masks at the ready and hand sanitizer. Let's get in, it's raining, it's raining! It's raining! Come on. Is it spitting? Yeah, come on! <laughs> Did you wet yourself in the rain, Kaz? I've got a soggy bottom and this. And you've got a book. And I've got a book. What paint do we need to choose? We're not buying the paint today, we're just getting samples, but... Yeah, well no, we're getting... We're just colour charts is fine, isn't it? Or samples, whatever. Yeah. I just don't know. You just don't know. She never knows. <laughs> it always ends up in an argument. That's been Q done. We have picked up a few samples. Ah! Oh, let's drop them. But a few, well, cards. Um, we didn't want to queue up to get mixed paint samples. We're going to try and possibly get the Volspa once we know how much paint we need. Um, it was very, very busy in there and a little bit uncomfortable. The arrows are confusing. Like, some aisles have them, some don't. It's like, which direction do you actually have to walk by anyway? But we did have a nice woman who was with her family who seen that we were standing and told her family to move out of the way because some guy had rudely pushed in in front of her hey, and, said, and said, Yep. Do you, need, do you need it, didn't you? Which was lovely of her. Yep, but we've got them, we're going to put them on the wall. Um, we may come back during the week when it's quieter and get a few actual samples to paint on the wall. Um, but let's get home. Yeah? Yeah, for a lie down on the sofa for Sean. I thought we've got a B&M, you said? No, we got them from here. Ah, don't. okay. Yeah, I mean we can go to B&M if you want. Well, that's where you might get the cheaper garden paint. <laughs> oh, my ear. It's not right oh, today. Ben. Not that yet, it's this year. I know, but I'm just talking your face. Mm. Let's head home. It's now time to relax watching. Whoa, that's close. Nobody needs to see my face that close. Jumanji, the next level. How's it, yeah? Echoey. It's like I'm underwater. Mm, not good. Mm. Right, let's finish watching Jumanji. Though, on the thought of Jumanji, what video game would you like to be in? Jumanji.
You you would like to be in Jumanji? Couldn't Why think not? of another video game that would be better it, to be in. Yeah, but Karen Gillan's in it. Gra no, but, no, Grand Theft Auto would be great. No, I get shut up by the police. Why would you not be that good a driver? <laughs> Dad, what video game would you like to be in? <laughs> Don't know, because <laughs> he doesn't know. Pong. 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 Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> well, Jumanji Next Level was enjoyable. Not as good as the first film, in my opinion, but I still really enjoyed that. Um, and watching that movie is going to bring this vlog to a close. So we hope you've enjoyed this weekend vlog at Carlisle Castle, going on the Lake District, um, and just everything else that we've got up to, tasting all that food. We'll see you next week for another weekend vlog. So keep making memories. Catch you later. The vlog on the tide is all mine, all mine. The vlog on the tide is all mine. The vlog on the tide.